Hey everyone, it's Julio Ramon here at ICANN, and in today's video, I'm gonna talk about the Remote Live 2 by PD Movie. So what I have here is the Remote Live 2 lens control system, and when you compare it to the original Remote Live, the new system is lighter, stronger, and more compact. The new system now uses the impressive Remote Air Pro motors and is available in a single or dual channel option. Each control unit has a focus dial, while the dual channel option has an additional rocker switch. Each unit has a clamp located on the back that is designed to fit around most crossbar and handles, such as what you would find on a gimbal or a tripod. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how this system works. I have here a Canon 5D with a Rokinon Cine 35 millimeter lens, and I'm gonna show you how easy it is to mount and how quick it is to start it up. So first what I'll do is I will grab our first motor, slide this into place. I will mount this motor onto the iris ring. Then I'll bring out a second motor and I will attach this one to the focus ring. So now that I have two motors set up, I'm going to take the control unit and attach it to the tripod handle. So I'll turn that around. Now I opened up the clamp. So what I need to do here is adjust it in the position I want it and then clamp it down into place. Okay. So, I have my control unit where I want it. I have my motors mounted. Now I gotta wire it all together. So first what I'll do is I'll take the DTAP power cable. I will plug it into our DTAP power source. Take the limo in and attach it to our first motor here. Next, I wanna take a daisy chain cable and attach it from one motor to the other. So I will do that once again. One, two. Okay, and now finally, all I have to do now is attach the control unit to the last motor and we're set. So what I have here is a three foot cable and it gives me a lot of room to work with so I can really attach that control unit wherever I need it. So I will uh, plug right in here, take this back, and plug this right into the Remote Live 2. Okay, so in this setup here, I have the rocker switch located on top and the focus dial on the bottom. So now that we have everything plugged in, ready to go, my next step is to turn on each motor. I will power on each motor by simply pressing and holding the power button on each motor located at the bottom. And now that I have each motor on, we'll come back around. So as you can see here on the control unit, we have two buttons and two indicator lights. Now each row here is assigned to a single channel. So the first one here that's marked red is assigned to the red focus motor that we have. And we have a green iris motor and that is assigned to the green channel located on the control unit. Now you want to make sure that these colors match to the way you want your setup. If you need to change the channel color, you simply double press one of the buttons. As you can see here, I changed the red into blue. 
but we don't have a blue motor set up. So we need to match that up. So we will cycle through our colors by pressing it twice again. And now as you see here, we're back on red. Okay, and you can change the channel color by doing the same thing with the bottom button located on the motor. Press twice and the channel color changes. We have green, press twice. Now we have blue, press twice. Now we have red, and that's where we want it. Okay, now something else that you need to know is that the way that the light blinks is an indicator of the speed you have your channel set to. If you see here, the red is not blinking at all. That means this channel is set to the slowest motor speed, as opposed to the green channel here is blinking fast, which is set to the fastest motor speed. Now to change the motor speed, you simply press the button to the channel you want to change, and you press it five times in a row. So one, two, three, four, five. As you can see here, the green channel is now blinking at a slower pace, and that's our medium speed. There are a total of three different speeds. So you have fast, medium, and slow. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna set the green back to the fast speed. One, two, three, four, five, and we're back to where we started. Now, the only thing we have left to do is to calibrate our lens. And in order to do that, we simply press any button and hold, and the lens will begin to calibrate. Now you can press either one, either button, it doesn't matter, they will both calibrate each motor at the same time. So I'll run it again just to show you. Press and hold. Takes a few seconds and we're ready. We're ready to operate. So now that we're set up, you can see that the Remote Live 2, what it allows us to do is it allows us to control our lens without removing our hand from the tripod handle. So simple turn of the dial. We can rock the switch back and forth to control our iris. It really makes controlling our lens a lot easier. Now one more feature that I want to show is the ability to set A and B hard stops. Now the way to do that is easy. For example, if we want to set some stops on our focus channel, we go to the corresponding channel, we turn the dial, find our A spot. Once we find our A spot, we press the button once. And now from here, we navigate the dial over to our B stop. Once we find our B, we press it again and done. We have set our AB stops. Now you'll notice after setting our AB stops, the channel begins to blink with a white light, which is indicating that this channel currently has AB stops. So to remove our AB stops, we simply press the button again, and that channel has returned back to normal. The Remote Live 2 is truly a unique device that can be adapted to many different types of shooting situations. The setup that we have here is a tripod setup, but if we wanted to take this and adapt it to a shoulder rig, we could simply attach the handles, attach our shoulder pad, We can grab our control unit, remove it, attach it to the shoulder rig, and just like that, we are using the Remote Live 2 in a mobile situation like a shoulder rig. And this can be adapted to many different types of systems. You can even adapt this 
to a Steadicam, a gimbal, or anything else you can come up with. Now for more information on the Remote Live 2, whether it's the dual channel or single channel system, visit us at iCanCorp.com. My name is Julio, thanks for watching.